Hi family, welcome to the Luck Moms channel. My name is the Luck Mom Deborah Nanchoka. I'm an ex-husband of Saudi Arabia and I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. I'm here for one reason. I'm doing this video. Uh, those agents threatening people after they are being exposed. You know, agents, uh, when you have a problem while in, in the Gulf, they will just block you because they know very well that your business ended when you just entered entered the plane so uh they don't care what will happen to you next so imekuwa kuwa watu wakikuwa na shida they cry out to agents mtu analilia agent karibu mwezi mzima mtu anaumia but agent anamwambia vumilia fanya kazi uh ulienda kufanya kazi na mtu akokuwa shida like this case of pendo pendo ameumia sana Sai hata kupumua ni shida. Na ni mtu alikuwa ameomba agent, amejiongelelea the good thing that she has just spoken for herself. Amejiongelelea wenye wameona vile anaongea. Huyo ni msichana ameumia sana. So, agents, this is what they do. They discourage you from seeking their help kabisa kabisa. So, ukiona kesi imefika kwa the luck mom, unakuja kwa threaten kwa inbox. <coughs> Hakuna siku nitaogopa binadamu ati unanipeleka kotini. Koti ilitengenezwa kwa ajili ya ya sisi. As much as you don't help. There is no way unakuja kunitishia tu unanipeleka kotini. Tutakutana kotini. Nikifungwa hata kama nikutakuwa na kifungo nifungwe tu. But so long as tuone kama watu wako sawa. So agents umwache hii tabia. Ukiona mtu ameku kama mimi by the time nakuja kuongea about agency nimeongea na wao mpaka wamefika time yenye wana wanakataa kuchukua simu yangu tena wananikata hapo ndio naona wacha niende kwa next step so kuna wale watu wanasema anga oh kwa nini unawaanika hamjui ilianzia wapi the, the what i do is that niko na evidence niliyokuwa nimeongea na wao wapi na wapi na wapi na wapi hadi nikaone yenyewe hii kitu inataka hii ni kitu ni ya public interest watu wanaweza changia na mtu aweze kusaidika so kama we ni agent and you want to to protect the name of your company listen to your clients wale watu uliwauza pesa half a million Kenyan money umeuza mtu alafu ameenda amekumbana ame na matatizo you don't want to care unamtishia unamtishia mwisho unamignore then unamblock so ukifikiwa unaanza kutishia watu vile wewe utaweza kuwapeleka kotini kwa hivyo you, you want to value the name of your company i know the name i know the life of your client because you know hautamrudisha tena mara ya pili you you want to gain more clients ukue na pocket yako iwe imejaa but you don't care about the life of others if you are an agent na nime reach out nikakwambia client wako wako na shida if you not act ama ukinijibu na madharau i don't care what will happen to me next lazima atakuanika nitaanika namba ya ofisi yako both kama ni gulf na ya kenya ndio tuone kama watu wetu watasairika because we are not going to ignore our ladies waendelee kuhangaika and yet you can help we know agents have power they can help lakini kwa sababu sasa mnataka kusema mmefika mnataka you won't threaten your client then you come to my page you start inboxing me you want to threaten me too i'm ready for anything niko nyumbani kwetu na nikifungwa nitafungwa jela ya nyumbani kwetu so long as tuone au wasichana wetu wamesaidika so mnataka you want to force me to delete the video i did about somebody who is suffering and yet she has not gotten help fikisha huyo msichana hapa Kenya muniambie ni delete video ama fikisha huyo msichana Kenya uh, if you want to protect the name of your office i'll come here again and say this officer has done this to our lady and she's back so you are not going to tell me what to do i'm not going to i'm not going to delete any video hadi tuone yule msichana anaitwa Clarice Spendo amefika nyumbani ikiwa client wako kuna watu na tena last time pia niliona msichana mwingine bosi wake alikuwa anataka kumrep mkaona ofisi yenu pia uh, another office uh, wakaona it was a different story wakaona tena msichana wao 
amewa maneno yao imewekwa kwa mtandao wakaanza kumtreaten wakamwambia awezi pandishwa ndege kama ajaniambia ni delete hiyo video na siku delete she's back home na wakati alifika tulisema amefika so atuendi kuogopa watu wenye wanatishia watu maisha awezi uza mtu wa, mtoto wa wenyewe mama wa wenyewe sister ya wenyewe haenda yangaike then you don't want to help ukiona sasa mnamulikwa mnaanza kukuja hapa kuniambia ni del- I'm going to delete any video na sio nyinyi wa kwanza nimefanyia hivyo if you are an agent and you are not willing to help your client jua tu lazima tutakuanika kila mtu siku yake itafika we need our ladies back safe and alive haina haja watu wakuwa na shida wakiwa hai we ignore and then ukisikia tu mtu amekufa ndio sasa unaona maneno inaenea so mnaanza kusema what did you do wakati alikuwa hai ule ngoja kufa ndio mkuja kutafuta views hapa lakini huyo ni mtu ako hai na anaongea ameumia ndio sasa tunyamaze tu tutakuwa tunaogopa maofisi watatupeleka wapi watatupeleka kotini koti ilijengewa sisi na lazima tufike pale tujieleze so those agents who are not willing to help their clients mkuu tu tunde kwa sababu nilikuwa nauliza huyo mama anasema ha nakujua nina nakusikianga nakujua sana this voice is familiar yeah if you know me is okay lakini kupigia simu unakata unakata kimadharau utaki kuchukua na kupigia simu mpaka 10 times uchukue alafu unanikata unaenda busy unaweka namba yangu busy na kuna mtu anaumia hapa on the other end so unataka nikuje ninyamanze kwa sababu i want to protect the name of your company if you want to protect the name of your company you must act to help your clients That is all I have for today agents lazima mwajibike mlipokea pesa ilikuwa tamu Mbona msisaidia